What's going on YouTube? Back here with another video today. In today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of data logging on the Lightning. There's nothing really wrong per se, but I did notice on our South Carolina trip that during cold start it would run a little weird and the AFRs were a little kind of drifty, I guess you could say. And as soon as it warmed up it would be fine. But I sent an email to Eric Lee Korn. He's the man. I'm telling you guys you're sleeping on him if you're not tuned by him already. Highly suggested, he will make your truck perfect. This is a perfect example of that. It just ran a little weird, a little funky. AFR is kind of floaty until it warmed up. So I sent him an email, and he wants me to do some data logging for him. That way he can make corrections to make it perfect. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I figured I'd just kind of vlog the process and take you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and jump on a laptop and get everything set up to data log. All right, so... We have LiveLink Gen 2 opened on the computer. That's the SCT data logging software that goes with your SCT X4 device. You plug it into that and then you can data log all the parameters you want. And we got that opened up and ready to go. And the data logging we have to do, we already sent him two data logs of it running from a dead cold start up until operating temperature. And now he wants me to do one at operating temperature with the gas pressed down just enough to create I believe it was 265 math counts and then hold it there for 10 seconds so he can tweak everything in I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna tweak in I was gonna ask him with an email and just see what the heck you know see what that's kinda doing but he's the man so I'm gonna do what he says and he should be able to make this truck perfect I'm not sure if that's just gonna help him monitor what the fueling's doing or whatever but like I said Right now he sent us a tune that puts this in open loop because that's how he wants to watch what the fueling is doing. So we did our cold start data logs. Now we're going to go ahead and do one while it's at operating temperature. Give it some gas, get the math counts to where he wants them, hold it there, and then send him that data log. But since it needs to be at operating temperature, I'm going to go ahead and just do a cold start for you guys. Get a cool little cold start video and then we'll get the laptop hooked up and start the data log. So let's jump in there and do a cold start. Now we just gotta wait for that to get all the way up to operating temperature. Operating temperature would be when the coolant gets to 176, and then we'll probably let it sit and idle for about five minutes five minutes once it gets there, just to make sure it's fully warmed up, ready to go. And then we can start our data log. But she's running pretty good. 
I mean, nothing, no issues that I can see. Everything looks nice, running nice and healthy. Sure does sound pretty good. Yeah, so now we just wait till it gets up to temperature. So happy with this thing, never gets old. Sheesh. All right, so we let the coolant temp get up to about 176. That shows me that it's just about at operating temperature because it's when the thermostat and everything starts to open. And then we let it idle for another five minutes just to make sure it was really up to temperature. So everything seemed to be running pretty good. Like I said, this truck never gets old. Every time I come out here and start it, it's just like another adrenaline rush for me. I love it. But so let's go ahead and get to data logging. We have the software open. Now we just got to hook everything up. Data log, everything's already hooked up, so we should just be able to next, next, next. Turn the key on. And check communication. Here we go. I guess I'll go ahead and go through all the items I'm data logging to for anyone that might want to know that. As soon as everything loads, I hate this computer. It is so slow. I normally have to come out here and turn it on five minutes prior to doing whatever I'm going to do just to wait for it to load, and it, it takes forever. So, we'll load our configuration. This is our Eric Korn configuration. This is everything he wants me to data log. I selected everything and saved it as a configuration. That way it's easy to open for next time. Go to configure. And this is everything he has me data log. And let's get this out of the way here. So we have the analog in, which is the AFRs from the fail safe cage. Battery voltage, commanded TV pressure, coolant temp, downstream, downstream air temperature, which is your IAT2s, fuel source, idle air integer, idle speed valve duty cycle, load, math counts, RPM, short term fuel bank trims 1 and 2, spark, spark source, throttle position absolute, torque converter clutch duty cycle, and vehicle speed. That is everything he has me data log when I do data logs for him. I'm sure every tuner will have a slightly different list of stuff to log, so that's going to vary on your tuner, of course. And we'll go ahead and get to data logging. Let me reread his email and make sure I follow the process just how he wants. That way everything comes out perfect. Those of you that know me know I am extremely thorough. I want to make sure I do this right. So. Yeah, normal operating temperature with the open loop tune loaded, truck in park, watch your math counts and raise the throttle speed until it's at 245. Hold it as steady as close to 245 as you can for about 10 seconds. All right, cool. That shouldn't be too hard. Of course I say that, but it might be hard while filming, but let's give it a shot. So let's go ahead and start the truck. Never gets old. Love it. All right. So, start the data log. Let's highlight our math counts. We're looking for 245.
See, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Save all. And we're going to save that in our data log file. Awesome, that wasn't too bad. Let me go ahead and save that, shoot the email over, and I'll come back to you guys. All right, so we sent Eric the email. We'll see what he says when he gets back to me. Hopefully, that was it. We just had to do a little bit of tweaking. If I had to guess, I would say holding it at that math counts, since that's counting the amount of air going by. Maybe he's going to monitor the way the fuel system is responding to that exact amount of air, and then make his tweak, and that'll probably be it. That's just a guess, so I'll let you guys know when I find out, because I did send him an email asking him exactly what we're doing in that process, just so I can learn too. I like to ask questions and kind of learn for myself exactly what we're doing when we're doing it, um, because I just like to know, you know, I just want to learn. I like learning about these things, and it's just, it's fun for me, so. And then you guys can learn in the process as well, because I'm filming everything, so. Win-win. Um, yeah, as far as the lightning goes, everything's coming together pretty nice. I'm still waiting on the front shocks so I can do that front suspension. Um, maybe, in, I guess, next video I can at least unbox what we got and then let you know what we're waiting on so you guys know what to expect. Um, but we're basically redoing the front end on the lightning. We did the back, like you guys saw a couple videos back. And then once the front's done, guys, we're pretty much ready to go and run some numbers and see what we can't do on this little Eaton before we upgrade to this guy. I can't wait to get this on there and make some big power. Those are known to make really good power. It's a 2.3 TBS for you, for those of you that might not know. Um, got an unboxing video on the channel as well. And basically, Joel Charles hooked us up with the 2.3 TBS, the full billet adapter plate. That thing is beautiful. And we had it black anodized. If you don't know, this channel is actually sponsored by JC Customs, the man that hooked us up with that stuff. And it's because of you guys that we were able to get hooked up with that stuff. Go check out the unboxing video if you haven't already. And make sure to check out JC Customs and use code DEBTLIFE for 10% off. I'll put a link in the description. Go check him out. He's got all kinds of badass billet parts for these trucks on his website. All kinds of billet adapter plates for the various blowers that you can use on these trucks all the different hole patterns you'll need, EGR deletes. These are his billet pulleys right here. He has billet pulleys. We have the billet pulley bridge on our truck. All kinds of stuff, guys. I'll put a link in the description to his website. He makes a lot of products for these trucks and he's one of the vendors that really cares and is trying to keep this platform alive. And he really helps support the platform. It's really awesome what he does. So make sure you go check him out. Use code DEBTLIFE and you'll save 10% off your order and you'll also help support the channel. It's because of you guys that we were able to get this cool stuff for the truck. He really hooked us up because all y'all were going and using my code. So continue the support, go check them out, use the code, save yourself some money, get some badass built for your truck. But I do think that's going to be it for today's video guys. I'm not sure if I can add any more because I'm not sure how quickly he'll get back. So I'll probably get to end the video here edit this and then we'll continue with the next video but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more if you already haven't go down there it's free hit subscribe and then you won't miss any of my content to come plenty of content to come with lightnings you guys know if you haven't already go check out all my videos on the channel and get up to date make sure the ones you check out you drop a like on them so it really helps when you like the videos helps get the videos out there on YouTube and we'll see you on the next one later guys